YouTube is intentionally throttling itself on Firefox, adding in an artificial five second delay, drastically reducing the usability of the website in the browser in an attempt to whittle away at the already small Firefox market share. Are some of the things that were being said over the past couple of days as videos like this are being shared around on Reddit and various other places. This behavior from Google is beyond disgusting. Artificial weight on YouTube now if you're not using Chrome or Edge. So in this video, a video is open from LTT and then for some reason, the video just doesn't load until five seconds later where it does. Same thing with this one here. It was not an isolated incident a bunch of users were having the exact same thing happen. Let's jump ahead to where they actually try to play the video. Click the video. And then it opens. And again, same thing over here. They open up the video. It doesn't open. And then it does. And along with this, threads like this one on Twitter also got quite a bit of attention. 4.9 million views. 51,000 likes. A lot of people saw this and it looked pretty bad. Now, I know a lot of people want to jump on Google for doing terrible things. They are trying to break ad block in various different ways, whether it's the pop-up, whether it's blocking video playback after three videos, whether it's the whole MV3 situation, whether it's web environment integrity, but even for Google, this is really, really brazen. Google has a lot of lawyers. They are aware of what they can legally do. And intentionally throttling your competition, that's a recipe for a lawsuit, and even they wouldn't be dumb enough to do it. YouTube and Google's general plan is poison the well. Make things bad slowly. And over time, users are going to drop off and not really blame you for a problem being there because they chose to stop doing it themselves. So before we burn the witch, let's have a look at what's actually going on. This right here is the code suspected to be responsible. If you don't know JavaScript, this is pretty straightforward. What it is doing is setting a timeout of five seconds. Now the notation they're using here doesn't really matter. It is five seconds. It won't use the entire timeout if this function here is successfully run. The most important part here is this resolve function. And this right here is the full surrounding context. Now, considering this is deobfuscated code, you're not going to have variable names or function names proper. So it's kind of unclear on what things are actually supposed to be. But people do have a fairly educated guess. This is most likely some anti-ad block code, with these comments better explaining what some of the parts do. This is probably something like is using ad block, and the part that we care about, the reason why it's waiting five seconds, it's checking if an ad is going to be played. And if an ad isn't played, it's going to wait the full timeout because the function didn't run successfully. And to make sure everything on the page works properly, there is this fake temporary ad loaded. Some users have noted there is this one by one pixel thing that looks like it's supposed to be an ad. That seems to be what this is. It's supposed to be replaced with a real ad if a real ad loads. But if there's no real ad, you're going to wait the entire time. Now, one of the major claims being made is this was only happening in Firefox and changing your user agent string to the Chrome agent string, making YouTube think your browser is Chrome, completely fixes the problem. This is a two-part issue, and I'll start with the first part. This is only happening in Firefox. This is factually untrue, and doing three seconds of research will tell you that's the case. I didn't mention this before, okay? But this thread we were looking at, the user is using Safari, and they are seeing the problem happen. If we go right here, here, it's happening in Safari. So it's clearly not just happening on Firefox. And it wasn't just a Safari thing. In this thread, there are users mentioning that they are using Brave, and they have the issue. There are users making use of Opera GX. There are users making use of, where is it? I saw it before. This in Chrome. And I have seen users reporting it both with 
and without ad block enabled. Also, during this entire situation, and even now, I have not had the issue occur. Let's just open up this random video here. It just, it just worked. Didn't autoplay the video because that's something I've disabled, but it just opened the video. There's no delay here. It just opened up the video like it should be. I don't have the problem. Let's turn uBlock Origin on and see if the problem happens. Let's, uh, you know, we'll even close the browser and restart it. I click this video here, and it just opens. No problem whatsoever. But the absolute most important thing I mentioned there was it also happens on Chrome. So what's the deal then? Well, very simply, the same thing that YouTube, Google, Amazon, Netflix, Mozilla, every single big company that has a user-facing product is constantly doing, they are doing an A-B test, where you have one version of the code base being shown to one group of users, you have another version of the code base being shown to another group of users, and you get the feedback from both groups of users, and that can be used to direct where you want to go with the project. In case you were wondering, that is exactly why you never saw the adblock pop-up saying adblock is not allowed on YouTube, or the pop-up saying, hey, after three videos, we are just going to stop video playback. You weren't in the group that was being tested on. And there are cases where this is far less annoying. Sometimes it's things like the placement of the description box, where the upcoming video should be, a font size, the color of the dark mode, and all of these little things, they do A-B testing on. It's just in this case, it's an A-B test that you'd prefer just didn't get tested in the first place. And this is the final hole in the tinfoil hat. This is exactly why changing your user agent string fixes the problem, because now YouTube thinks it's talking to a new browser, and that browser isn't part of the testing group, so the video just plays like it normally would. However, there is still one little problem to address. A lot of users have noticed there seems to be a correlation between users not making use of Chrome, whether it's Brave, Safari, Firefox, anything else, being in the testing group at a far higher rate. Now, nobody is clear on exactly the reason why this is the case. Maybe it's malicious, entirely possible, but the more likely explanation is it's related to tracker protection. So Chrome obviously doesn't block the in-house trackers, whereas if you have tracker protection enabled in Firefox, in Safari, in Brave, it's going to. So, users that are doing tracker protection, it's going to add you to the group at a higher rate. You may be able to make an argument that the A-B test is more skewed towards people outside of Chrome. That I wouldn't be entirely against saying. But to say that this is not affecting Chrome users is factually inaccurate. And to say it is only affecting Firefox users is just the same. And to cap everything off, we have this recent story by The Verge. YouTube says it's not slowing down Firefox, just ad blockers. Now, obviously, you're not going to just take YouTube at their word. But we will read the quote. In the past week, users using ad blockers may have experienced suboptimal viewing, which included delays in loading, regardless of the browser they are using. YouTube communications manager Christopher Lawton wrote in an email. Lawton wrote that disabling the ad blocker should resolve the issue, though users may still experience a temporary delay in loading until their browser has refreshed. Lawton also said that users will keep seeing issues like this as YouTube's ad blocker detection methods improve. And as further evidence of this not only happening on Firefox, the five second delay isn't affecting everyone. A few of us at The Verge tried to recreate the issue both on Mac and Windows machines, but whether logged into YouTube or not, using an ad blocker or not, going incognito or not, none of us saw the delay that's being reported. Also, Mozilla commented. So this is from Damiano De Monte, I want to say, Mozilla's senior brand manager. In an email to The Verge, they said there's no evidence that this is a Firefox-specific issue. I know with everything going on right now, 
People are very quick to jump on YouTube. I understand it makes sense. However, if you want your message to actually have a point and people to actually listen to you, you cannot, you cannot jump on stories that are completely fake. Because the second someone realizes that you're lying to them, they will take absolutely nothing you say seriously. This is not a problem that is only affecting Firefox. That is the end of the story. So, were you experiencing this problem? Have you maybe modified your uBlock origin filter? Because I know some users were doing that. Or are you like me and were blissfully unaware that it was happening whilst all of these stories were coming out and people were crying? I would love to know. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, and Libero Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And look, to be honest, I just bought premium a while ago.